Um, we've touched on a couple of times that we picked some of our olives when Jade was here having a, a holiday and what I did was I put them into water and changed the water every day. I mean we're not talking about a big amount, I'll show you what I've got. Um, but after about I would say 14, 15 days of changing the water all the time, they then weren't horribly bitter and had that like sucking all the moisture out of your mouth thing. Um, so then I put it into some brine, uh, a salty water, um, and I think now we've had a taste of them and they're not too bad. They're, they're really quite nice. So today I'm going to put them into jars and then use that brine sort of to hold them in. Um, put some flavours in, I've got some garlic and some bay leaves and then I'm going to float some olive oil on the top sort of to seal them. Not that I think they're going to last very long um, but I'll just show you what I'm doing. Going to the highest part of the tree. That's where the olives are. <laughs> oh. I don't even think you're going to reach them from there. I wouldn't go up any further, love. They're very safe. jars just boiling to make sure that they're lovely and clean. Here are my flavours. So I've got some bay leaves and some garlic and then these are the olives. So they're in their brine. I'm just going to fill up the jars, use the brine to top them up uh, with the flavourings in and then as I said, put some olive oil on the top and that should help seal the jar as well. I just have to figure out how to get them out of here with a little nozzle and into there. I think what I'll do is I'll pour the brine out of here and then the olives should go in there quite easily. Three jars there, Darren? Okay. <laughs> yes, not for much longer. 
I'm going to, so I'll leave this one without any flavourings in because they taste nice anyway. There we go, so more than I thought. Nice. Olives. There we go, all the lids on. I think I'm going to take them outside so you can see them in the sunshine because they have some amazing colours in them. There we go, you can see them much nicer with the sun shining through them. You can see the bay leaves and the garlic. Hopefully they will be delicious. So every morning, just to make sure we don't leave him, Max has to get into the car, just in case we go without him, just so that he's ready to go. And he's like, look, we can get ourselves away now. I'm in the car. <laughs> like somebody's been collecting mushrooms. If it continues on around here. Steps down. Oh that gets quite deep. Yeah, so that probably is a diving section. Yeah. But it's a good uh I wonder if they would like your sup board here. Sup board, yeah. Mm. Very nice. Yep. Yeah. That's when it was made, where this river beach was made. Or at least the steps were sitting. Yeah. You wouldn't think it was December, would you? You wouldn't think no. it was. No. Well, that was um, a bit exciting. That was a bit exciting. <laughs> I, I saw something. We were we were just driving up from the river beach, just mm. there, and um, I saw something 
Like in the corner of your eye. In the corner of my eye. Far too quick for us to capture on camera, unfortunately. But uh, there was um, a, a, a javeli, a wild boar, and what looked like a baby. Yep, so like a mother and baby. Mother and baby just running up the hill and then just ran in front of the car. I mean, in a, a yeah. safe distance, but a good distance. We could see them very clearly. Very clearly. We just stopped the car and just looked. <laughs> and I just turned the camera off, so it, it was just like, there was just no reaction time left. We wouldn't have got it. No, it would have just very, been like a blur of... would have been a blur of the road. But yeah. uh, honestly, that's the first time that we've seen them for real actually yeah it was really nice You're beginning to think that they were all a myth <laughs> <laughs> really nice. Well, nice yeah nice just to experience in the moment as well in the moment in the middle yeah. of the day it's literally what middle of the day now and there they were yeah because we only ever hear about seeing them in the night time obviously we know they come out at daytime yeah um but yes uh, that was really nice uh, we'll try and capture them next time <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So I just wanted to share that moment. That was lovely. Yeah. Mm. Right, let's see where this road goes. Yeah, are we just going to continue going up this road? We've been quite busy on the land lately. So this morning was glorious for December. We thought we would just take a morning out. Travel a road we've never travelled. And uh, we're not even that far from home. We just said, okay, we haven't been down that road, turn that way, you choose the next one. Something I used to do as a kid on some holidays with my mum and dad, everybody, would be, we would call it a mystery tour and everybody took turns at choosing which direction when you got to like a junction or a fork in the road. So that's what we did and we ended up here. So uh, beautiful. Yeah. absolutely beautiful and uh, just what we needed for a, a lovely morning clear your head get out and about enjoy the winter sunshine hope you've enjoyed it <laughs>